Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzz World.org being the music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today. And it's the latest track by X Ambassadors, and that's the Devil You Know. So I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos. So I hope you enjoy. So I personally think that X Ambassadors are coming into this release of pretty darn good form. They've had some decent outings previously, and their last track, Torches in particular, was one of the better tracks from. Uh, May, I believe it was released. Supposedly, this track is for the Lucifer soundtrack. Many people are hinting at anyway. Uh, I think that's a probable outcome. And yes, I do think context is always important when it comes to music, especially when it comes to TV show music and movie music. So should we see what I thought of this brand new track anyway? Well, I thought it was fine. And there are definitely some uh, old style bluesy country rock influences within here, which I really enjoyed. But I did find the song a little bit linear, really. We only really had one progression and one recurring melody, one recurring line that is. It's just things got dynamically louder and more abrasive and then back quieter and a little more subtle again. It's not bad and there aren't any glaring flaws within the runtime here, but it definitely did sound like a TV show track to me. Its lyrics are a bit naff, to be honest with you. And the song's hook is a little bit trailer bait for me, if that makes any sense at all. And it just felt that the track didn't really have too much substance behind it. It was just sort of meaningless squabble. And if you compare this track to their last track torches uh, which varied very well was impactful had lots of interesting sequences and had some great lyrics behind it i just find this a bit underwhelming really Production wise, there is definitely a lot here I can appreciate since the mix is very much organic. Admittedly, the vocals are a little bit boomy, but I like how raw they have been left in the mix. And when the harmonies kick in too, boy oh boy, do we get some bolstered hooks and bolstered sequences. The overdriven guitar also sounded really twangy, and it would have been easy to sort of overproduce an element like this, but instead we were given something a little more realistic in comparison to the rest of the blues rock genre. It did sound like an old style bluesy rock tone, which is exactly what I wanted to hear. The percussion is fine, uh, it never really enticed me I would say, outside of the roomy kick no elements within the percussion uh, ever really cut through into the foreground so it did feel more functional rather than anything else but the track overall though definitely had a presence and a retro feel to it and it encapsulates the desired time period really well. When it comes to the musicality of this track, yet again, I do think there are some decent moments scattered within the runtime here. I thought the vocal performance was strong. I thought the harmonies sounded absolutely fantastic and I would have actually liked to heard even more of them. And the track's introduction is really solid, but it never really goes anywhere for me. And it does get very tedious, especially towards the end, hearing the tagline or the title tagline over and over again with no meaning or real undertones to it. Also, the melodies are a little bit plain despite how how good the vocal performance is like a sort of bluesy rock country nursery rhyme rather than actually having much feeling behind it the drum transitions are also a little bit dull which is a bit disappointing really and the bass never really caught my ears at all and it just lacked a little bit of spice and a little bit of decoration especially on that second verse there is you know a, a plenty of good core thematic devices within here that could be reiterated more than three times you know they could have a recurring sort of motif but I just felt that there wasn't enough substance here, as I keep saying, and there was nothing in between those bits as well to really make it worth waiting for. Lyrically, the track is incredibly basic. It's a little bit cliche. The only anecdotes we really get are very cheesy, uh, just as cheesy as the recurring title. And it sort of genuinely felt as if it was a different band that has actually written these lyrics. I mean, the track doesn't really match up at all to Torches, in my opinion. So all in all, fans might enjoy this one. Uh, it will probably sit quite well on, you know, the desired TV show. I can see it working in Lucifer, uh, but I can't really say that this track is for me. So I gave it a G rating of 5 out of 10, which is sort of average. Average. If you like this video, then please leave a like, comment what you think in the comment section down below. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.